Okay, five reasons on why not having front cocking serrations on your 1911 is just wrong. Number one, front, so front cocking serrations are full custom. See this gun from the custom shop of Springfield, Springfield Armory Custom Shop from some years ago. It does not have front cocking serrations. Back in the day when you would send a gun off to have, you know, have custom work done to it, you would have front cocking serrations put on it. And it was a little controversial, but it was a way to really tell, like, ooh, like, this gun's been worked over. Like, this is uh, this is something more than just a regular skew from cold or whatever. So that kind of changed when Kimber came on the scene. I think a lot of our younger viewers don't really appreciate that. But front cocking serrations were a significant and not inexpensive upgrade to, for your custom 1911, uh, you know, back in the day. So, um... Number one, it's full custom. Number two, why not make it easier for you to be able to grab the gun in a myriad of circumstances or situations? If your best bet is to grab it back here, but if you know if you're on the ground, you're fighting and knock on your ass, or you know it's a compressed ready position and you're having all kinds of issues, it might be a little bit easier for you to reach it up here than to reach it back here or do this. So I mean. Why not have options? So, yeah, why not? Number three, it's easier to show clear for other people. So, um, if you're in a situation where, where many of you are not shooting by yourself on a range and you're, you know, at a match, at a class, training, you know, work, whatever, you probably will have to be in a position where you need to show your gun clear to other people. And what happens is, you you on rear cocking serrations, you, you manipulate, the, you crack open the gun, but your, your fingers are kind of in the way of your view, and so you both can't see. So you're trying to show, you know, trying to show the guy, you know, the range safety officer, oh, the, you know, the gun's empty, and then, you know, whatever. Where front cocking serrations, you keep it in close, you can just show it, show it, I can see it, you can see it, you can see it on camera, see how much easier it is? It's just easier to show clear. Number four. Front cocking serrations make it easier to manipulate the gun with red dots. I personally am not a big fan, if I can avoid it, of manipulating the, the back of a slide when there's a red dot on the gun. But on a red dot on, you know, if with, with, with front cocking serrations on the front of the gun, I don't have to worry about touching the red dot, adjusting the red dot, fouling the red dot, turning it on, turning it off, dimming it, or Lord knows what else, you know, fogging up the, you know, smearing up the window, anything. I can stay up front, keep the, keep the glass clear. And for number five, the fifth reason on why you should get front cocking serrations on a gun, and the argument that they used to have was, you should not, it's dangerous to have your hand up near the barrel up near the muzzle. For some reason, this is considered dangerous. And while I can see the logic theoretically, consider this. You know, we're in a world now, this is a five inch 1911, we're in a world now where we're surrounded by pocket rockets and, well, you know, I can't, you can't even call everything, you can't even call stuff compact anymore. It's like a compact, subcompact or whatever, micro and all this crazy shit and you can't, you can't keep it straight, you know, you're as you're close to the barrel, if not closer to the muzzle with these guns than any full-size service pistol. So I think that argument's probably busted, unless you want to invalidate 50% of all CCW sales in the country. So that wraps up all the reasons on why I think you should have front cocking serrations on a 1911. If you want to see any more stories or pictures or links like this, please go to the website at john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun, not debating on the Internet. Everybody, have a good day.